Hey guys, Chase with Sound Vision Technologies here. Today we're going to be going over the LEA Professional Amplifier and how to install it inside of your projects. Before we get started, however, we want you to unbox and make sure all the necessary components are inside. First, obviously, you'll have the amplifier. Next, you'll have the two position amphenol connectors. You should have two of those. That'll be what you use to hook up your speaker wire. Then you'll have three three position amphenol connectors in the two channel connect series amplifiers. These are gonna be used for the 12 volt trigger as well as your uh, unbalanced to balance RCA cable connection. You'll also receive a unbalanced to balance female RCA cable for a two channel and two balanced to unbalanced RCA connectors for a four channel. Also inside the box, you should see a power cord, rack screws. You'll also receive additional rack gears that you can use to offset the amplifier further back in your rack or you can use it to wall mount the amplifier itself. Now that you've verified that everything's in the box, we're gonna go ahead and power up the LEA amplifier and load the DSP presets before we hook up any speakers or any sources. So go ahead and hook your amplifier up to power. Once you've connected the LEA amplifier to power, you're going to wanna to wait for it to completely boot up. Once that's done, we're ready to connect the LEA amplifier to your network. There's actually three ways you can connect the LEA amplifier to your network. The first is you can hardwire it via Cat5 or Cat6 into your network switch. The second option is you can actually use the built-in Wi-Fi chipset to connect the Lee amplifier to your uh, commercial or residential Wi-Fi. Or third, in the event that internet is not available yet on your project but you need to configure your amplifier, you can actually turn the Lee amplifier into a Wi-Fi hotspot and use that to load the DSP preset. Today we're going to be using the option of connecting the LEA Professional Amplifier to our project's existing Wi-Fi network. To do this, you're first going to want to reach behind the amplifier and push the Wi-Fi button to make sure it is illuminated blue. Once it's illuminated blue, wait a couple of seconds for the front display of the amplifier to update with its broadcast name and IP address. From there, you can use a PC, Mac, Android, or iPhone to jump on the Wi-Fi hotspot that the amp creates and have it join the project's existing Wi-Fi network. For today's example, we're gonna go ahead and use an iPhone. Once you see the network name on the front of the amplifier, you'll go ahead and open your Wi-Fi settings and pick the Wi-Fi network that you see it's broadcasting. Once you have confirmed that you've joined the network, go ahead and open your web browser and type in the IP address that you see on the front of the display. Once it loads, you'll actually be presented with a LEA splash page and the amplifier that you'll, you're connected to, you'll see its IP address right there. You'll go ahead and click on the I for information. From there, you're going to go and select your network option. Under network, you're going to go ahead and slide your Wi-Fi button to enabled. And then you're going to go in and populate it with your SSID as well as your password. Once that's complete, you'll save that and you'll come back to the button on the back of the amplifier, hit that again, and your button will light up green. There, your amplifier is now connected to your existing house Wi-Fi network. And from there, we can go in and access the amplifier again and, and load the DSP presets, which we'll do right now. Before you're ready to load the DSP presets on the LEA amplifier, you'll want to go to soundvisiontech.com under dealer resources and download the latest version of the DSP presets. You do that by going to soundvisiontech.com, click on resources, right underneath that you'll see LEA Amplifier DSP. There you'll wanna click the LEA, LEA DSP option that has the name ZIP as the logo. From there, that'll go ahead and download to your phone or PC or Mac. Once that's done, downloading, you'll want to go in and extract it. It does come down as a zip file, so you'll need to go in and click on it and let it, the, the file uncompress on your phone or your computer. From there, you'll go ahead and log back into the amplifier using the IP address that you see on the screen. You're going to click the information bubble or the eye bubble again, and you're going to go into channels. You're going to select your first channel by just clicking in the channel box and you'll see that you're presented with a number of different uh, icons at the top of your screen, as well as some settings. You could ignore all of those for now. We're going to go and actually pull DSPs into the amplifier. 
So in order to do that, you're gonna come over to the crossover button. Once you've done that, you'll see down below where it gives you the option to export or import speaker tunings. We're gonna go ahead and click the import button. From there, it'll give you an option to decide where you're going to pull the file from. We're gonna go ahead and hit browse. And then there, you should go ahead and see the file that contains all the True Audio LIA DSP presets. For today's project, we're going to go ahead and use the Sub 12 Pro as the preset for channel one. Once you've selected that, you'll see it load and automatically configure all of the uh, necessary settings for channel one. We're gonna go back to the iBubble, click channels again, so that we are now, you can now see in channel one, you'll see P12 sub, that's the uh, sub 12 pro. We now wanna go in and load the DSP presets for the Acoustascape. So we're gonna go in and click channel two. Again, we're going over to crossover. We're clicking import, browse, and we're gonna go select the AS3 speaker right from our list of options. There you'll see the AS3 preset has been loaded as well as all of the additional settings that we have set for that uh, amplifier. Once all of your DSP presets are imported, uh, now would be the appropriate time to go ahead and connect both your source and your speakers and subs. Now that you've gone ahead and loaded the DSP preset, we're gonna go ahead and walk you through how to connect your speakers and your source to your Lear Professional amplifier. First, we're gonna connect the source by using the included RCA, balanced to unbalanced RCA cable. We're gonna take the three position Amphenol connector and terminate our, our wires by using the white wire in the far left or positive slot and then the two black wires in the next two slots. We'll also be using the red wire in the positive or the far left slot and then the black wires in the next two slots. Once you've used the screw binding post to firmly clamp the connectors down onto the cables, we'll go ahead and take those and insert them into both the in one and in two on the back of the Lee amplifier. From there, you're ready to take your source, for example, an, a Vessel A1, and terminate that with a male RCA cable. Next, we're going to be hooking the subwoofer up using the included two position Amphenol connector. So first of all, you're going to want to take the Amphenol connector and the speaker wire that's been run to the sub, and you'll want to connect your red or your positive connector to the left side. You'll see it's clearly labeled as positive, and the black connector terminated in the negative position. With the screw terminals, we'll go ahead and connect that to channel one for the subs. So next, we'll go ahead and hook your speakers up to channel two, again, using the other two position Amphenol connector. We'll grab the speaker wire that we have, run out to the landscape speakers, and again, we'll be sliding your red for positive, black for negative into the connector. Once again, once your screw binding posts are seated completely, you'll go ahead and take your Amphenol connector and plug it right into the back of the, the amplifier. For more information, please contact your SoundVision sales team or visit soundvisiontech.com.